ETFs we go. Robert Stein's Aster Asset Management still on a roll earlier this year. Forbes.com named Aster Asset Management the number four best managed ETF portfolio for 2008. So far this year, Aster's managed account portfolios are up 8.5 percent. Let's check in now with Robert Stein, founder of Asset Management, uh, Aster Asset Management, rather, to see how he's staying on top for this year. Robert, tell Hi. us, what are you doing? Um, well, we're taking an active approach. Uh, we don't believe buy and hold works very well, and we're economists. We look at economic cycles. There's four distinct cycles, expansion, peak, contraction, and trough. And our function is to try to identify what cycle we're in, not forecast, identify what sectors are experiencing that cycle, and then build a portfolio around that. And then finally, we try to put ETFs that have low correlation to each other. We don't see any value in having a lot of the same things in a portfolio. I've heard a lot of uh, hedge funds are utilizing ETFs, especially on the financial side of things. Mm -hmm. Should that concern uh, the average investor who's thinking about investing in ETFs themselves? No, I, I actually think that creates liquidity and it also creates product development. Uh, the more people are using a product, hedge funds and professional investors, the more likely the providers are going to create ETFs that fill a niche. And so as you see investment opportunities in specific sectors, it gives incentive for the companies to create exposure to those sectors. All right, so let's talk sectors. What do you like right now in terms of the ETF universe? I still like technology. We liked technology earlier this year. Uh, I believe it's actually um, through with its recession. Uh, I also like the biotech and healthcare sector, kind of counterintuitive right here. But even with the rally that the IBB or the I IHY have, has had, uh, they're still trading below what I think is a, is a reasonable valuation. So we're waiting towards those and uh, we also like a lot of corporate fixed income uh, ETFs as well. How do you analyze ETFs as opposed to looking at stocks? When you look at a stock as an average investor, you can look at the multiple, you can look at their earnings momentum. Mm -hmm. What do you look at specifically when you're looking for the right ETF? Uh, I'm glad you asked that question. For us, it's about employment trends and output trends. Okay. If a sector is adding jobs and making more stuff, it expands. We literally look at the employment report. We see where jobs are being added or lost. We try to tie that to a sector that has a correlating ETF and we purchase that ETF. Then we see if it correlates to the other parts of the portfolio. All right, I want to just say uh, to the viewers that Dow touched 9,000 the first time uh, oh. since the beginning of the year, obviously uh, something some people are watching. Uh, in terms of what you're watching for trends going mm -hmm. forward, where do things shake out here? When do we start to see growth in the labor market? Yeah, I, I don't think we'll see growth in the labor market until much later in the year, maybe the beginning of next year. Uh, and then I think it'll be sort of a uh, tepid and slow growth. And I do believe we'll be in a recession 18 months after uh, this one has been uh, finalized. So be careful of the double dip. So you're a little bearish there. Well, in 18 months. Uh, we got a long way to go before there from, uh, from valuation standpoints. Thank you, Robert Stein, for Thank being you. with us. Appreciate it.